Hi, it's uh, Tony from Farmore Koi. Uh, this morning when I uh, had a look at the fish, I, I look at them every morning and I uh, try and see each one <laughs> individually, say hello, you know. And um, but I've got two showers, uh, Adam Byer showers in there and they're lovely fish. And I noticed that one of them um, has, looks as if it's got a little bit of an infection um, uh, on uh, its dorsal. So uh, I'm going to uh, get that one out and uh, treat it basically. You'll see behind me I've got all the kit ready. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll get it out and I'll uh, take a scrape and um, I'll sedate it and uh, and uh, do, do the treatment and get it back in the pond before I bother looking at the scrape because uh, I, I don't want it hanging around outside the pond for too long. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I don't think, I think it's bacterial. I don't think it's uh, uh, parasites, but uh, anyway, it's worth, worth taking a scrape while it's out of the water. So, um, I'll get sorted and get back to you. So, <coughs> first job is to try and catch the blighter. I can't even see it at the moment. Yes, I can. Don't want you. Want you. Well done. Yeah, it's uh, pretty clear. What's happening? Whoa, sorry, nearly. Knocked you over, that's the trouble with having not enough space to do these things. Stay there. That's it. Okay. Seeing at the moment, I'll show you in a moment. Um, he's in some sedate, I haven't really got enough water in there for him to swim upright because um, I put 18 litres of water in so that I could put. 20 mils of sedating but, uh, you can see that um that bit on the top of his dorsal it's nasty i hope it's gonna heal up okay Let's see if we can get a Steady, steady. Yeah. That's good. Put that out of the way. Good. So um, I'll come back to you once the sedate has uh, taken effect. Okay, I've given the towel a good soak in. Oh, I'm not sure he's quite ready yet. 
He had quietened down. He knows what's coming. Yeah, he ain't quite ready. I'll come back when he is. Okay, I'm going to give it a go because I don't like um, over sedating them. It scares me. <laughs> uh, come on, let's see how quiet you're going to be. I said, good. Boy, but I notice there's a bit on this peck as well. So. You might not be able to see it, but it's, it's quite a lot there, so I'm going to clean it up. Um, a scale just came out in the water. Um, I'm using this uh, fish first aid spray that uh, fishermen use when removing hooks for... Maybe you haven't done quite long enough. Although well, you didn't do that, you know. It probably stings, doesn't it? Yeah. There's some gunk under some of these scales. Um, don't know whether I need to. Pull them out a lot. Ah, ah, ah. You're still too lively, aren't you? That's got the clean. I'll put you back in if you're not careful. Okay. Now what I actually like to use for these bacterial things, and I think that's what it is, I like to use neat malachite. Try not to get it on my hands. I see there's some redness in the tail as well. I'm gonna put a bit of powder on him. Turn you over a bit to get on the other side. <laughs> and then I've got some propolis spray. Not the neatest looking job in the world, but that don't matter. Well, 
lay that down again. I never put gloves on, I always get stained with that bloody malachite. But that app, I still find it's the best for bacterial. Now, mate, mouth's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Need a bit. Right in there. Red round the anus. You find all these other little bits, don't you? Sometimes. So. Okay, mate, I'm going to call that it. So, let's go. Just check the other side. Yeah. Not the best time to stick your hands in cold water, is it? Turned in nice and blue or green, malachite anyway. I'll just turn you around a bit, try to. We always find this the horrible bit. Come on up, right yourself. Well, <coughs> so there he is. I'm using the shadow of the phone to see him. So it's not the happiest of bunnies at the moment.
So there he is. He's all right. He had me worried for a while. That took a long time to bring him round. I had to turn the video off uh, for some of it because I had to concentrate on the fish really rather than everything else I was doing. So, yeah, here he comes. Oh, yeah, seems okay. Right, before I do anything else, I better cut you off there. Sorry about that. Before I do anything else, I better check that um, scrape I took um, just to see if there was anything in the way of uh, critters on there. But I think it was uh, bacterial actually. Now, if I, <coughs> if I don't see any critters, I should probably treat the whole pond with malachite bacteria. So, check the slide first. Be right back. Okay, <coughs> I won't bore you with all this because um, my uh, microscope. Um, isn't the type I'm afraid that you can see much. It's a struggle. I have uh, used the mobile phone on it before now, but it is a real struggle to get it to focus through the IP. So um, that was my sample. I just put it on there. I'm going to scan it round. Um, I go up and down the whole slide, and uh, I usually use two magnifications going up and down the whole slide, and then. Um, once I've done that, I'll get back to you if I've found anything. So I'll be right back. You don't want to watch me doing it. It's boring. Well, I don't know what's happened there, but um seem to have lost the sound on this uh, bit of clip. But um, anyway, basically, I, I found nothing on the slide at all, really. There was um, one... Uh, either dormant fluke it wasn't moving anyway or it was dead but I think it's dormant waiting for the warmer weather to come along and get to work again but um, there was only one no, nothing else so uh, it's not really a parasite problem it's uh, pretty much as I thought I think it's um, bacteria so um, Anyway, that's uh, the shower uh, treated, and um, I will, uh, I think as a consequence, um, treat the whole pond with malachite now. Uh, got some uh, uh, neat malachite on the, on the wounds itself, and uh, that should kill off any bacteria on the fish itself, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to treat the whole whole pond, stop it spreading, and uh, take it from there. God knows what I was saying in this clip. Can't remember. I don't know. Technology, eh? Keeps going wrong. So I thought, um, just to finish this off, I'd do a little bit of um, underwater uh, shooting of the uh, of the fish, and um, see if I can spot the shower that I uh, treated as well. But um, yeah, oh there he is, right in the middle as well. Yeah, see the green. <laughs> oh, he seems to be okay, swimming okay. So yeah, quite nice to see them, I think, sometimes underwater. In fact, um, on one of the others, it's how I found a small ulcer. <laughs> that's, a, 
that's the big old gal of a sankey that's got that great big growth on the side had it for donkey's years all her life really but, uh, I know I've had the net in there but they're as lively as crickets Yeah, there's another one there, that, that white one, that had a bit of mouth rot going on, and a gill plate. But that's been treated and it's healing now. There it is again. They've been pretty good, really, but um, this winter. But then suddenly you have an outbreak of something, don't you? Oh, to the joys of koi keeping. That show, I mean, it's quite upset me, really, because I, I doubt if that dorsal will ever grow back in the middle there. And it's such a beautiful fish. But, um, there you go anyway it'll have a good life once it's uh, sorted out so showers and sankeys they can be quite soft in the winter I do find it relaxing watching them swimming about underwater. So I'm almost in there with them. <laughs> anyway, I shall um, sign off on this now. If you got this far, uh, watching it thank you so much as usual uh, I'd thank all my subscribers and um, if you're not subscribed and you've been enjoying watching this please consider subscribing it uh, would mean a lot to me uh, I'd be very grateful it doesn't cost anything so as I say if you can like subscribe and share it be great and I'm always I always love um, seeing your comments I do try and um, answer them sometimes one or two might escape me but um, yeah so again thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and uh, I will see you again on the next video hopefully not having to deal with a problem on the fish but uh, say it's part of the hobby so anyway thank you so much and for now it's bye from me Bye-bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.